Hello traders, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I know it has been forever, but it is with great excitement that we're actually coming to give you our weekly market insight. This is the monthly breakdown that we have been doing and I am back to basically give you my little bit of information on the markets and today I want to go through a couple of pairs with you guys and hopefully you guys are able to understand. Welcome back, welcome back. Please do share the video, click the subscribe button and also give um, us a like but don't forget to even worse leave a comment on the comment section for us to know that what we're doing is doing a difference to your life and also is giving you some kind of growth. So I'll be looking at Euro GBP as one of the pairs that um, are on my watch list for today. So I will be starting on the weekly time frame, right? So weekly time frame to basically understand what is happening on this chart. So looking at the weekly time frame, we do have a very clean structure on this market. What we have here is the market has actually been stuck up in these ranges from the the end of 2016 and now this is 2020 and we're still around about this range so what i will do is i will draw like a horizontal ray tool around about that level there so i will be drawing this level there so that we know that this is the resistance that we've actually been failing to break above so you can see how we actually spiked on this high for a couple of times before we actually went back to the low so the market has been indeed stuck up in this range for some time now and the market hasn't really broken out of these ranges so the market did come to tap the highs again and we actually haven't gotten to the lows which still can be possible that this chart can actually push to the lows looking at also how the market has actually formed let's then look at the structure that we actually have in this current market we do have a high over there we do have a low and this does definitely look to me like a lower high right so looking at this right the weekly candle actually closed with a huge bearish momentum leaving a huge sell off of the market from last week's closure we do anticipate a continuation to the downside on this coming week so for me i will be looking at um, further movements to the downside looking at the weekly and how this market has actually formed from the weekly time frame right so i can then go on to the daily time frame to basically understand what we have on this chart so now coming back to the daily we can see that even on the daily this kind of does look like a, a lower high but we actually actually haven't really confirmed because this candlestick hasn't closed so the more today's candlestick closes bearish this confirms that this is definitely a lower high but again on the daily what are we having on the daily so we do have this previous high level that really did hold so i will be um you know noting down that previous high because then this has been a very significant high on this chart so look at how we actually spiked on that level failed to break came back to the low spike again spiked again spiked again for a couple of days we actually spiked around this level and then the market did spike uh, break above that level we failed to basically reach into the highs but we did see like two days of a push onto this high but we did see one day taking out the two um, maybe like one and a half days where of work of these two days uh, pushing up and now the market did come below this level did come back to retest that level and from here I will be looking at a further push to the downside why am I saying this because then the market did come and sustain below this previous high so the next possible low that we have is literally around these zones so these areas run about um, 0.88 to 20 0.88 uh, 900 is where we have the next available low that we have on this chart so these are the two daily zones that I have so I will be looking at this zone let's maybe put a tag on it so that's 0.8870 uh 500 if i can put it that way not 0 0.88800 if we can maybe put that level there so that psychological level not 0 0.88800 so that's what we're looking at and obviously we do have uh not 0 0.90500 round about there so coming down to the smaller time frames we can actually break down what is happening to basically kind of understand what it is that we have on this chart so on the h4 time frame what we have here is we do have a very interesting pattern that we have we do have market coming up to the highs to give us this uh, highest point of the markets 
I don't know why this is so slow, but let me just wait on it. So we do have that level over there giving us that highest point of the market. Market did come to give us that left shoulder and we do have a right shoulder pattern forming. So we do have like some kind of a head and shoulder pattern that's actually forming right now, which also is giving us on itself like an indication of where the market can potentially go to next. So we are going to actually like try and monitor and observe what the market is doing run about these levels for us to basically get the next uh, possible move on this market so we can see that this is a clean head and shoulders pattern that actually formed on this chart but however I will be removing these tools because then we have actually gone to understand that this pattern is a pattern that has fully formed on the charts the market did actually come and print this left shoulder uh, and even this right shoulder fully so both these shoulders have been printed fully and the market did kind of like respect these two levels so again the next area that we have on this chart is we do have a neckline that just got broken right now so we do have a neckline on this market that literally just got broken now so you do guys you, you do know guys as uh you know we have started learning forex we did get to that point where we learned about head and shoulders patterns and obviously this is simple textbook trading if i take that distance and i put it here like i can then see that this this same distance that is on the head to the shoulder will be the same distance I use from the, uh, sorry, from the head to the neckline will be the same distance I'll be using from the neckline to the next target. So looking at this, this is almost around about the same level. So someone else might even, uh, even confirm this move by saying that we do have uh, some kind of a trend line pattern that even got broken over here. So trend line that even got broken. And if you look at this, you do know that anything that is above the trend line is a buying market and anything that is below the trend line is a selling market. So for me right now, I will be looking at shorting this uh, this pair all the way to 0.8880 as we did even anticipate. However, I want to, uh, you know, put careful consideration of these lows because I can see that this level has been a level of interest for me. And so I really want to put my mind onto it and actually get to find an entry point as soon as the market breaks out of this region. So what I will be waiting for is that the market will come and break out of this zone. And from here, I will be waiting to actually take up my entry point going to uh, 0.88800. So let me just put like a short tool so that you guys can see what it is that I mean. So I will be waiting for the market to break out of this zone and I will be waiting to actually take my trade to the lows. So obviously I am keeping risk management into key. I'm keeping my risk to reward ratio also uh, in perspective. So I will be putting my stop slightly above this level. And if you look at this, I'm literally risking about 25 pips to target 105 pips, which is a good risk to reward ratio if you think about it. So what we have here is we do have um, this market getting ready to break out so i will be looking out for a retest as soon as this market breaks out of this zone then i will be looking for a retest for a further downward movement to the lows right so that's euro gbp that we have on the charts again this i just covered right now on my ig live and i'm gonna go through this pair again with you guys and basically give you why i am actually buying here i think um the market just uh, got to our levels of anticipation the same levels that I actually given to you guys on my life the market did kind of like get to that level and is now literally skyrocketing nicely to the upside so we do have GBP USD setting out nicely for a buy as you guys can see uh, the market did kind of like come back to retest this level to the absolute pip and the markets are literally rising right now so we do have uh, this level of interest as well that just got retested as i did speak about it on my ig live so what we have now is that the market did come to create this left shoulder and then uh, the head and obviously this is the right shoulder so again using the same technique that we did use on the G uh, euro gbp trade we can see that okay this um is you know the distance from the head to the neckline and we can even use the same distance from there to the head and you can see that this is almost similar to that level of anticipation that we have that's almost the same distance that we have to that level of anticipation so you can actually try and find entries uh, after the break out of this neckline if you actually haven't or this would have been a beautiful trade to actually 
put you onto this market for you to actually hold on to these trades a little bit longer so i did call this out on the group uh and obviously everyone did come in and this will be the next uh, potential breakout area that we're looking at before we can actually start taking long positions on this market so this is what i will be looking at gbp usd and euro gbp longs uh euro gbp shorts and gbp usd longs is what i am looking at do not forget guys to push that subscribe button leave a like and also give us your feedback on the videos this is the first video i am releasing in a very 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 long time and i would really appreciate your comments and also you guys giving me your feedback on what it is that you think and how you feel about um this video and also give me pairs that you would like for me to look at and topics that you'd like for me to actually cover on this very channel that we have from me to you guys have a beautiful week i love you guys so much till the next video cheers